completing the square, we look at this square here, which has length x plus 4, then the area of this square is going to be length times length, and that's going to be x plus 4 all squared. Now we're going to split this length into two parts, x plus 4. So we have x, which is the length of this square here, then the remaining, which is 4, similarly here. So the area of this red square is going to be x times x. Then we have a rectangular shape here, which is 4 times x. Similarly here, 4 times x. Then this square here, 4 times 4, which is 16. So what we had before, on the top was x plus 4, all squared. Here it is x squared plus 4x plus 4x, which is 8x, plus 16. Now we can use this to answer this question here. So we need here x squared, we write this here, 8x plus 16 is equal to x plus 4 all squared. But our question is just x squared plus 8x. So we then take the 16 to the other side. So therefore x squared plus 8x is equal to x plus 4 all squared minus 16. So if we have to find the area of this square and this rectangle and this rectangle, all we're doing is we find the area of the whole square here. Then because this is extra bit we don't need, then we just subtract from the total, like here. Now we do some more examples like this. x squared plus 6x in the completed square form we know x plus 3 all squared is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9. So therefore x squared plus 6x plus 9 equal to x plus 3 all squared. But here we only need these two terms we subtract 9 from both sides. So we get x squared plus 6x equal to x plus 3 all squared minus 9. Similarly here, if we expand x minus 6 all squared, we get x squared minus 12x plus 36. Then we write here x squared minus 12x plus 36. But then we also got minus 3. So we write minus 3 here equal to x minus 6 all squared, but because we got extra minus 3, so these three terms are equal to this, because this minus 3 there, we have to write minus 3 there. Then we only need x squared minus 12x minus 3 on the left, but then that 36 we subtracting from both sides. So we get the answer is x minus 6 all squared minus 39. Now think about this one. 
x minus 1 all squared is equal to x squared plus sorry, minus 2x plus 1. So we write this side here, x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 all squared. Put b of 5 here, not just 1. So if you add 4 there and add 4 this side, so we got x squared minus 2x plus 5 equal to x minus 1 all squared plus 4. Now this is one way doing it. In the next video clip, we'll find easier method. If you have x squared minus 10x, then we're completing the square. It's going to be x half of this, all squared, always minus sign, always square of this number.